much. Now at five, we have reached the middle of Art Week, and that means the attention is turning to one place, Art Basel. Today is the VIP opening, and our VIP, Lisa Petrillo, is taking you inside the Miami Beach Convention Center. Lisa, hello, show us what we are missing. Hi, ladies, you're missing a lot, but just right now I was hearing Portuguese, Danish, Mandarin, every language you can think about because this is a global art fair, and this is the V VIP opening of Art Basel, and it's a pretty exciting event because we took a look around this morning and the crowds came in in big, big numbers. Take a look. A flurry of affluent art aficionados arriving into the newly remodeled space inside the Miami Beach Convention Center Wednesday morning for the very VIP opening of the 18th year of Art Basel Miami Beach. For the novice that comes here for the first time, what they can, can expect to see here? You will see 269 galleries with work that goes from 1900 to right now. Um, I would say wear comfortable shoes, stay hydrated, don't try to see it all in one fell swoop, you know, take a break. Art Basel ranks as the premier art show of the Americas, offering a platform for renowned artists and galleries. Miami's billionaire businessman and avid art collector Norman Brayman says the fair just keeps getting better and better. I, I think the quality has improved remarkably over the earlier years. Um, it's, it, it amazes me the quality of the art that's here. You'll find works on the kings of contemporary art, such as Matisse, Calder, and Picasso's, paintings, sculpture, photography, mixed media, and more. Brand new this year, up here on the second floor, is an area called Meridians. It's for large-scale installations only. This one is called Cocktail Party, and I'd like to join in. Some works clearly stand out, while others are proof positive that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Here at Gagosian, one of the leading galleries around the world, art lovers jam-pack the space. Anything on sales yet, or did, have they already landed well, there, some? There have been sales already, and we also have a preview that generally goes out three or four days before the actual fair, so there's a tremendous wellspring of interest even before the doors actually open to the fair. Fashion runs the gamut, with some choosing to wear their love for art on their sleeves, Literally. Today's attendees may attend other shows this week, but Art Basel is their number one. There's a lot of shows in Miami Beach, in Miami, art shows, but there's only one Art Basel. It's the best of the best, and everything's interesting. What's going through your mind as you're walking through the halls? Um, just trying to get a feel for the show. And the people watching is almost as good as the art, maybe even better. I agree. And so, for another year, Miami Beach and South Florida shining bright in the international spotlight. I just met somebody from Beijing who's, who's here. I mean, they're here from all over the world. Every, every major museum curator, collector, they're all here. Yes, they are. And here inside Petzl Gallery from New York, this little cushy baby elephant, I think, is about $80,000. Let's over, go over there to the Daffy Duck. We hear that's $180,000. And then back here to this painting that's kind of fun for your kids' room at $200,000. Art Basel officially opens for the public on Thursday and runs through Sunday. So come and check it out. Back to you girls in the studio. All right, Lisa, thank you very much. I agree that people watching is the best oh, part. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to watch the people and watch the art because those are some hefty price tags. Yes. Woo.